Uh, so yeah. Dan, your first uh, foray sort of into the world of rom-coms. Yes. Uh, but it doesn't bow to convention. It's got this sort of quirky take. So. Um, it's it's hugely romantic actually, but it's done through slightly cynical eyes. Was it yeah. one of those? Was it's it one of those? Describing it. Was it one of those scripts when you sort of got got it? You're like. I'm keeping this. Yes. No one else take it from me. No, absolutely. When you get a script this good, you do just go, okay, yeah, hands off everybody else. This is, um, you know, it's it was smart. It was I definitely like smarter than your average rom com and funnier, I hope. And also, I like, I hope more emotional as well. Because um, I think a lot of romantic comedies are kind of disposable in the way you could just sort of see them once and then forget about them. But I feel like this film. I hope will live with people for a while afterwards. One film that's done that recently, and for me the modern benchmark of yeah. rom-coms, 500 Days yes. of Summer, yeah. as a touch of that, it's very visually beautiful, this film. Good. And there's a moment where um, you're standing holding an umbrella and Zoe's yeah. character sort of, you're getting wet and she yeah. sort of nudges along and it just sums up your character so perfectly. I mean, oh, good. chemistry between you two has got to be right for those scenes to, to work. Oh, yeah, we got very lucky, I think, and to a certain extent. Um, you know, Zoe and I got on very quickly. It was very obvious we were going to become, you know, it was going to be easy to work with each other. And I think that um, we're actually kind of similar. We've got very, we're both kind of nerdy. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, we both, I, I, she's very easy to make laugh, which is, you know, good for me because most of my job for the film was trying to make her laugh. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, you know, she's she's wonderful to work with. Like, we got very lucky. And also, not just with me and her, but also with, like, myself and Adam and Zoe and Megan, who plays our sister, and Adam and Mackenzie. Like, it, the whole group was just cast really well, I feel like. they, You know, none of us knew each other, but they, they sort of put us together really well. It feels almost like a breakthrough cast, and you're like the veteran that we've been seeing on screens for... You know, 15 yeah. years, even though you're, you're a young guy yeah, starting your well, career as well. Yeah, respect. exactly. No, totally. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I, I definitely feel like I'm sort of in the, in the same place as a lot of those guys, even though I have obviously had a very different past. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, these these are people you're going to be seeing a lot more of over the next few years. You know, Adam Driver, Mackenzie Davis, uh, Megan Park, indeed. You know, Zoe, I feel, is more established as well uh, than, their, than, than some of them. But, you know, she will be, you know, somebody, again, you see a lot more of um, in years to come. Um, I think it was the ancient Greeks who, who sort of said, so don't usually start jumping That's questions great. like this. I love it. <laughs> who said that adultery is actually when the first time you think of a person in sort right. of a sexual way. <clears throat> now it's all about the sex at the end. Is this <laughs> is this a movie sort of taking it back to those ancient ways. Well, you are thoughts. kind of, that's a brilliant, you, you've, you've tapped into something that is brilliant about the film and that I think is, uh, you know, and the way you've come into it is fantastic as well. Um, but yeah, there is something interesting about the fact that um, their relationship becomes a relationship very quickly just without the sex. You know, Zoe, uh, Zoe and my character start hanging out and very quickly it moves from just friends to definitely more than friends but not quite a relationship. And so you're in that gray area where you're just thinking oh am I spending too much time with that person or am I you know and it's so it is you know it's it's a it's a romantic comedy about <laughs> ethical gray areas I mean those gray areas it's not a spoiler to say it, it is resolved but we don't know sort of how in what way and how it might happen in the future yes, I mean, exactly. is there ever an answer to this question it's the age-old question can you have a platonic friendship I do think you can have a platonic relationship with somebody of the opposite sex I think if it, the question of attraction comes into it then that is more difficult but I also don't think it's unachievable like I uh, you know I think you know I've, I've got friends who I you know love and adore and are beautiful people but who I do not want to sleep with. Like, but the question is, have you ever thought of that in your head? I've, That's the issue. I've ever thought of it, but no, I think, for the, a fleeting I think the issue. I don't think the issue is like, have you ever imagined it for a second? I think the issue is more like, have you ever? Can can relationships be unaffected by it? And I think they can. Yes. Whether or not I've spent time imagining it is still totally up to me. That's your business. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs>